Okay, we're going to talk about a furnace bypass. I am not an electrician, so I'm going to explain this to you like a lay person would. Okay, and I'm going to guess that's what you are if you're watching this video. This is a furnace bypass. Now, this winter, I got stuck, you know, here with no power for a couple days, and it got awful darn cold. And I said, I'm putting one of these furnace bypasses in. Um, now, you are not going to find this at Home Depot. I, if I remember right, I bought this on Amazon.com. And it's specifically made to have a generator run your furnace. Now, what you do is go to your electrical box and turn just the fan of the furnace on. And then you just kind of keep going through your switches off and on, off and on until the fan motor stops. When it did that, and I found that I put a piece of tape on it so I would know which one it was. Now there's a few wires that come off of this bypass device here. Now you mount it on the wall next to the fuse box and you poke one of these holes out of the side of the fuse box and put it in. Now there's a red wire, a black wire, a green wire, and a white wire. Now normally on a fuse box, you know, a wire comes into the fuse box. There's a black one and a white one. The black wire goes here and the white one goes on this bus, I think it's called, this long device here. So what you do is you just disconnect the black wire. Once you know which one it is, remember I taped it. Now you get the black wire from this device and the black wire you just pulled and you connect those two black wires together like I did right here. And they actually give you one of these wire connectors. Just put them together and screw it together. Now, the wire that comes in, remember, comes in, there's a black wire and a white wire. Just leave the white wire where it is, coming in from the home to the fuse box. Now you get the white, all right, let's start with the red one, I'm sorry. Okay, you get the red wire, now that you connected the two black wires together, you get the red wire from this device, connect it in where the black wire was on this fuse circuit right here. Now that's going to go into this box and then it comes back out to this black wire. So now, coming out of this box, there's a white wire and a green wire. Now what you do is you just connect the white wire and the green wire together, which I did right here, onto that bus and screw them down. And that's basically it. Now, remember the two black wires go together, one black wire from this, one from the house. You know, one coming in from the home. The red wire now takes the place of the black one. Okay, I hope I explained that right. And when you're normally running it with your regular current, you leave it online. If for some reason the power goes out, switch that to generator. Your extension cord, see how that's like a backwards plug, and, and you, you won't get shot touching that. You click at the generator, and the power goes in there, and now it'll supply the furnace for the house. So I hope that I explained that right. Let's try again. There's a red wire, and a black wire, a green, and a white that come out of this. Figure out what circuit it is first. Have your wife in there and click these till the fan goes off on the furnace. Mark it. Take this whole thing apart. The red wire from this now goes in here and the black wire comes out. The two black wires go together here. And right there, the white and the green from this go on this bus bar here. Now, you know, some homes, that green wire is the ground wire. Now, I noticed they put all the, the ground wires coming out of the home together on the bus with the white wire. So that's what, exactly what I did. Now some, some may have a little connection off on the side that's a separate ground, but it looks like this has a ground coming off that uh, white bar there, or the bus bar. So that's basically it. If you're ever thinking of installing one of these, hope I give you enough courage to do it. This was, I think, $75, and you're going to have to buy it online. You're not going to find this at Home Depot or whatever. So that's it. Simple device. And uh, now when the power goes out this winter, I'll at least have a backup to keep my butt warm. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope it helps somebody.
Okay, here's, uh, lastly, here's a diagram of kind of what it looks like. Uh, this is where it comes in, and you could, I guess, stop the video to kind of analyze this if you want. Actually went together pretty smooth. That's that, and this is the name of it right here. Now, there's two different... Um, amp ones, the 15 and the 20. I have the uh, 15 amp here. Okay. That's it.